The gentlewoman from California, Ms. Lofgren, is uh, recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The, um, uh, Mr. Poe's amendment moves in the right direction, but it really doesn't solve the problem completely in the underlying bill. The U visa is really a law enforcement tool that encourages immigrant victims of serious crimes, including domestic violence and sexual assault, to assist in, in uh, investigations and prosecutions. Under the current law, the law enforcement officer certifies that the applicant, the immigrant applicant, is, has been, or will be helpful to the criminal investigation. Now, as Mr. Poe has pointed out, the 60-day limitation really would impair the capacity of law enforcement to proceed, and victims don't always come forward in 60 days. Here's why I think the amendment doesn't go far enough. There are many cases where victims provide critical assistance in, in investigations where th the statute may have run, and, and that's particularly true in cases involving serial rape or sexual abuse of children, where the victims may have been abused years ago, uh, but they are still helping law enforcement uh, prosecute more recent incidents. The statute of limitations for rape in some states is only five years. There are states where the, there is a three-year statute for felony sexual abuse of a child. And this amendment, while moving us in the right direction in terms of striking the 60 days, would still prohibit witnesses who have been able to identify a serial rapist or sexual abuser of a child from coming forward and cooperating with law enforcement if they lived in states with these relatively short statutes of limitations. Now, we've heard from police officers that the, uh, th these witnesses can be very helpful even if a crime occurred years ago the information can still be of great use uh, to uh, the police. In addition, for cold cases, as we've seen with rape cases, thousands and thousands of DNA samples are now being uh, tested and information is coming forward. So the current uh, uh, law provisions about self-reporting and in the case of U visa certification by the police officers is actually working. Mr. Poe did not indicate this, but I think uh, the, the comments made by the chair relative to potential fraud, I assume, is, be, is behind the changes in the underlying bill. But there is no evidence at all of fraud in the U visa process. In fact, in September of last year, CRS conducted a very wide-ranging report, a search of press reports, legal proceedings, and was able to locate us only one, a single press report of potential of fraud relative to the U visa. They, this is what they said, uh, the CRS report said. Members of the USCIS Fraud Detection and National Security Directorate told CRS they had not seen cases of bene benefit fraud using the U visa. And here's why, I think. The requirement for a certification serves as a significant deterrent to fraud as it requires contact with police officers who have to vouch for the veracity of the victims and the need for the victims' cooperation. Here's what the Federal Law Enforcement Officers Association said, quote, law enforcement officers and prosecutors don't hand out visas like cotton candy. U visas are an essential tool carefully used by law enforcement and tempered with great scrutiny, unquote. Now, the CRS told us attestation by law enforcement of both abuse to the alien national and subsequent assistance by that individual serves to prevent immigration fraud. So I think that um, you know, the bill, the underlying bill is a solution in search of a problem. There's absolutely no evidence of fraud in this system. The, the amendment, I think, is well-intentioned to eliminate the 60-day uh, reporting requirement, but it doesn't solve the underlying problem, which is this will not fully free up law enforcement to utilize the cooperation of immigrants as the current law does. So this is a, a half step forward to where we are to, uh, today. The bill takes us back, and, and Mr. Poe's amendment is a half step towards current law. I suppose we should support it, but it doesn't solve the problem. Well, the gentlewoman, yes. And I would be happy to yield to the gentlelady. Uh, am I to understand that 
Mr. Poe's amendment would uh, replace the 60-day uh, requirement, uh, a new statute of limitations. The, gentlewoman, the gentlewoman's time has expired. Without objection, the gentlewoman is recognized for an additional minute. Uh, and I would yield. They would generally. also continue to have the U visa. No. Uh, my understanding uh, from the uh, Poe amendment is that the 60-day requirement would be replaced with the statute of limitations. And in some cases that will work, but in other cases, especially in the case of child sexual abuse and serial rapists, the, the, the statute of limitations might prevent the issuance of a U visa and the ability of immigrants to co 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 collaborate with uh, police and prosecutors. And that's why the proposed amendment <coughs> solves part of the problem, but it doesn't solve the overall problem, it would still allow this bill to be a step backward from current law in terms of protecting uh, women from violence and uh, especially immigrant women from violence and also would uh, preclude in some cases our law enforcement, our, our, our police and our prosecutors from utilizing the full uh, tools that they have available to them under current law. Gentlewoman, this time has expired. I'll recognize